Hey all, Board Game Rants here where you'll find everything solo, tabletop gaming, and more escape plan with some extra goodies. We're going to have a look inside this box. We're going to see what it's all about. Here we go. All right, escape plan unwrapped. That removed a little bit of the glare. A little bit better now, huh? Except for this. Still pretty glary. Little expansion upgrade pack. Lots of little goodies there. Picked up this game through, again, the Game Steward, which is really now how I'm <laughs> purchasing Kickstarter games. You still get some of the Kickstarter goodies, but you pay maybe a smidge more, maybe, because you get free shipping through these guys. And you get to hold on your money for the year or two that it takes for Kickstarter to get in gear and finally produce and send the games. I just get to kind of wait and then uh, buy them as soon as they come out or very shortly thereafter. And um, now this has been out for a while, but uh, I've become increasingly disenchanted with the Kickstarter process and I'm not really supporting that except under very rare occasions. So there's a little more accountability there is really my issue with it. Anyway, that's a whole nother story, right? Another rant. This, though, is a Vita Lacerda game. Vita Lacerda goodness, who... Uh, if you've watched the channel, I've been doing kind of systematically going through almost all of them now. I think the only one I haven't now is CO2. I have uh, yet to bust that out. That'll be another video. A little bit obsessed with his style of Euro game. They're fantastic. <clears throat> Not so obsessed with the solo variants that come with it, but just to have a way to play it solo, I'll take it. It just overrides. The games are so fabulous. And so, anyway, this one is looks a little different, though. It almost looks like there's going to be two AI opponents. You know, one is going to be Sandra. Another one's going to be, I don't know, whatever the other thing's called. Sandra, if you ever played Kanban, is is a, <laughs> a character, moody character out of Kanban that is brought over to here, which I think is very cool. Anyway, and this is supposed to be one of the lighter Vito Lacerda games, and uh, I've read through the rules. I've actually seen a bit of a playthrough, and it does. It does look much on, on the lighter side, but still, you know, heavy-ish games. It's certainly not a light game, I would say, but I'm pretty excited to dig into this. Let's go ahead and flip this over, and oh, well, some, you know, I've had luck getting this off with one hand. Nope, no such luck. I'll be right back. All right, there we go. Lids off. We've got ourselves an advertisement. Yep, yep, a lot of the sort of games there. Okay, anyway, rule book. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Still, you know, decent, good size, kind of staring does this big book fashion. And uh, there's typically some good examples in there these these rule books tend to be very well laid out that is definitely a vita lacerda trademark I've, I've been getting used to here with these fabulously written rule books they're very clear very concise very comprehensive uh easy to follow and you know typically the games that i play are heavier i have a, I have a tendency to just buzz through a rule book and then read through it again a little slower, you know, paying attention to areas that I know I need to pay attention to. These rule books, you just don't need to do that. You can just, just go through it once. You get a solid feel for the game. I mean, it's, they're just that well written, uh, these rule books. Very impressed because they're, they're, they're heavy games. So uh, that's not an easy feat. So here we go. So I know you're playing solo, you'll be playing uh, with these two-player rules, which will have Sandra in it. And then, so, so you'll need to know, you know, how to do Sandra's turn, adjusting the variety, and then the solo game. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, play with Sandra and, and those rules. And then uh, Lieutenant Costa. So there's going to be a third. So this is, this is interesting. And also here, there's not, you know, oftentimes uh, a common theme that runs throughout the solo games is there's sort of four different levels of of victory conditions this one's just you know you kind of win or lose at the end so this is a, of, a, of a different formula 
and maybe it'll be more to my liking. I don't, I don't know. I'm pretty excited to, to try it because it's actually going to, instead of like a two player solo game, it's going to be three, so two AIs and then myself. So that might really, uh, well, I guess I'm, I'm, I'm going to find out soon, soon enough. And so there we go. And there, here's, here's a whole reference on the back side. Basically covers all the stuff. You know, sometimes you get these thick little mini manuals of all the different things in a Lacerda game to sort of or a reference thing. But this is all covered on the back. So uh, pretty slick, pretty streamlined game here. And a very cool theme, too. As far as Euros go, he does a fantastic job of, of bringing theme and, and a vibrancy to his, to his games that are otherwise, you know, Euros aren't typically... Usually there's a pasted on theme that you just kind of have to imagine while you're playing the game. But this it makes it very easy to not just imagine, but to just play it in its world. And here you're trying to, you know, I guess it's a heist that it kind of went bad. I mean, you got all, you all, you all got your money and then uh, someone ratted somebody out. I don't know, the police are started. There's a dragnet coming. You got three days to get out of there. Try and get as much money as you can and get out of there. And so... Here we go. These are going to be the pieces that are going to form the city that we're going to try to escape from. A hospital, safe house, I think. These exits are going to get down to just one exit that, that um, you can get out of. And uh, these are very thick pieces, typical of Eagle Griffin games, typical of the Vita Lacerda and maybe Ian O'Toole. I'm not sure if that's who did the... the uh, mm -mm, illustrations. Well, anyway, these are um, high quality pieces here, very thick cardboard. And uh, as I've said many times, I would prefer not spending a hundred plus dollars on a game, maybe 60 or 70, getting a little bit less high quality components. That's, that's kind of what I'm expecting over here with CO2. CO2, half the cost, less than half, I should say. Than here and all of the game of a Vita Lacerda, I might add. I think, um, in my personal opinion, you'd probably sell a lot more games if uh, went that route. But hey, this is the signature Vita Lacerda experience. This is the Equal Griffin experience. And if you're willing to pay for it, and I guess I am, then I guess it's sort of working. Whatever. Well, there's some keys there, but these are cardboard keys, and I think I'm going to get some cool metal keys here. Take a look at that here in a second but all right here we go just going through we got these are huge tiles too they're going to fill out the board so it's going to make for easy moving around and pieces aren't going to probably be so so easy to jumble up getting your items here these will help you uh, escape escape the fuzz you know as they try and track you down and and pin you down um buckets of money more tiles these are beautiful cool looking Cool looking art there. And uh, more money. Okay, here we go. We're down into something here. This must be a player board. Very cool inset. Oh, cooler if it was upside, right side up. Inset areas here. We're going to put your little assets, I think. And then, uh, yeah, as you cover things up. Certain things happen. You get a little injury area here. Income track level. Very nice. Looks like that's the yellow color. There's purple. Orange. Pink. And green. Okay. Mm -hmm. Nice. Very nice. And you can see right through it. Little filler piece there. Looks like that's going to be the, the board. Um, don't know what these are. Oh, oh, these are going to be the boards that we hide behind. Okay, so they, yeah, you get the, you're, you're going to be hiding your stuff. So you might have this like that. You can hide your, your money and, and other things behind it. So everybody's going to have their own little board to hide stuff behind. Those are fun. Cool looking. Almost like I've got an alien look to him. Moving on. Um, some more tiles. Okay. And all right, here's the player board. Oh my gosh, that's gonna that is a big one. Big player board, and I know there's two sides to it. 
like a one to two player side and a three to five player or something like that. Um, you know, open that up here. Scooch this here, scooch that there. I'm running out of scoochy spots. Ugh. There we go. All right. Mm -mm -mm. Mm, use my right hand. See if we can get in this very thick, heavy board here. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, I think I... Uh, All yeah. right. Look at that. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Cool. Big, chunky places to start uh, and, and lay out tiles. Be kind of creating the city um, as you go. Interesting concept. A lot of spots here to keep track of the various things and stuff. Let's get this back well we'll leave those up there see what else we got here and mm, yes i like these these little uh plastic covers do well to keep things secured in your game box especially when you store them upright instead of flat so things don't fall all over the place i very much appreciate that got a nice bag here for or something don't quite remember but uh very high quality feeling very thick that is uh it's nice that is good stuff as i'd expect from evil griffin we got some plastic bows we got some scorekeeping pads we've got okay looks like we've got some player aids Walking pretty good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Five of those. Very nice. Got some cards here. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. More cards here. Everybody's gonna get one of these cards and it's gonna have uh, you know where you where you find your money. You wanna grab as much money as you can from all the different areas that you've invested in and stashed money, and then get out of there. Whoever's got the most, pulls the most money out of the city before they got to make their escape wins. And, okay, and then we got, of course, these very high quality wooden goodies here. Nice. Okay, oh, bag of, of stuff. Tons of, of wooden pieces. You got gang members that can help you make your escape. All different colors of uh, everybody. Very cool. Um, let me see if I can tear into this and we can just have a quick look-see there. All right, got that popped open. I'll we'll just have a quick look inside this bag here. Yep. Good looking player pieces and stuff. Loads of stuff. A lot of, a lot of wooden pieces there. We've got our cards here that they're all uh, they're all about the same all the same size and of course serve lots of different purposes there Very nice quality uh, what's this here more more wooden goodness yep standard wooden goodness very good what's in here this is the this is the uh, upgrade pack mm. okay Whatever these are, some more uh, additional looking stuff there. Escape plan punch board, KS plan. I don't know what those are. Um, these are some good looking cubes. I don't know if these just replace the player cube colors or not, but those are, this was an upgrade of some sort. Um, here, I bet you this is where we're probably gonna place the yeah, there'll be asset cards that we line out that we'll be picking from and replacing. So there's a little board for that. Oh, it has a little thing here. It tells you a con yeah, contact. So I could guess can contact card. Fixer tiles. Some new fixer tiles there. Sandra and Lieutenant Costa Pons. Notoriety stars, metal keys, acrylic cubes. Nice. More oh player powers, huh? Turn on each player chooses one of the player powers. Oh, interesting. So this adds more than just an upgrade, kind of a little uh, little variant 
Upgrade two, mission card, shuffle the mission cards, give each player one at random. Look at your own card any time, keep it secret. Nice, add some mission cards. So add some, some new um, new variability to the game there too. That's cool, those must be the mission cards. Very cool. Metal keys, nice. Heavy, you need these to get into your lockers or to get into businesses that have closed down. Very cool. And there's the Sandra and Lieutenant Costa and some other stuff. I think that's about it, though. Yeah. I always get a little tingly, a little, little anticipation when I open up a Vito Lacerda game. And I'm sorry that I'm, I'm running out. You know, I've gone through the Gallerist. Uh, I've gone through Kanban. I've gone through On Mars and Lisboa. Escape plan. CO2 is coming up. Anyway, until next time, thanks for joining me. I'm Board Game Rants, and I am out.